How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Flames Plays. And today we're continuing Silk Chains. And we're looking for that dial piece over there. It looks like once we find it, following the map tells us that we should be able to take a few steps forward and then to the right. Oh, it looks like we're gonna find a leg. Oh, we can open this door though. Okay, first let's let's do some investigation. What do we got in here? Anything good? Note? No, can't read that note. Note doesn't matter. A place we could hide. Which seems to indicate that we're going to be facing something soon. So we want to go this way. And then this. Oh, God. Hello. God. That was loud and jarring. Okay. That was not the door I was looking at at all. Hello, creepy painting. Do we want to do something with these? Okay, looks like they rotate. So you got potato potatoes right here. Gotta find out how to rotate them though. That's the trick. September 9th, 1900. The day I switched places with the night because of my new medication. I sleep all the time and only at night do I have enough strength to get out of bed. Last night I heard little wooden steps and giggles. Laughter left this house long ago. I wondered if it was the children fooling around and went to check on them, but they were sleeping soundly in their beds. In the second floor corridor, I met Nanny T Tamsin. She looked at me as if she'd seen a ghost and dragged me into the next room. Then she gave me my medication and told me I was not allowed to leave the room. I angrily knocked those damn pills out of her hands. Why the hell do I need to spend all, all day in that room? Can I, not see, can I not even see my children? I said spend so little time with them. They need mother, not that Nanny Tamsin. What is she doing up so late? She's beginning to worry me. I'm actually intrigued now because I'm wondering if this maybe... I don't remember anything from my childhood. I'm actually wondering if maybe the person we're seeing is Nanny Tamsim and not our mother. Maybe she grew too fondly of the children and was like, you know what? I'm going to take over. Is there something in here? Very, very flame like there. What was it? Okay. Where else could I find... So it looks like it's over here. And then the instruction said to do something with the turn. It looked like what about over here. I'm just like mash my face up against everything here. Oh, maybe maybe the monocle shows you something over here with the picture. Not really. Okay, not not at all actually. This isn't this is definitely gonna be a puzzle. We do something like that. Nope. That's not it. Alright, so following this, we walk forward. And then okay, so we walk forward to here. No? Right? Oh God, I hate these. this thing's just so annoying. It doesn't actually do anything correctly. It's just like, hey, yeah, there's something around here, maybe. Uh, no. Open the door back up, then. Ugh. Alright. Let's see. I'm, I'm in full monocle mode right now. Just bashing my face up against everything. Maybe we want to check out this one instead first. That's a possibility. Ooh. That's a loud flickering light I used to I, we lived in an apartment at one point and there was a light outside the window that made that sound all the time when it was on so it'd be like dead at night and just that noise constantly and we couldn't figure out what the noise was at first we thought it was like the central air or something like that that was making it and then eventually we put two and two together and realized it was only at night and only in that area so we we ended up uh, reaching out to the uh, maintenance people and they replaced the light and they stopped doing it. And it was like, yay, we can actually sleep now. Oh, wait. What? Okay, well, Creepy Puppy Boy is still there, but we can go check out this other limb first, maybe. Maybe that's the trick. Looks like it's... Where was it at? It's up, it's on, it looks like it's on the third floor? But we don't have access to the third floor yet. So, never mind that idea. Uh... Yeah, we definitely want to try to... Oh, wait, wait, maybe we do. I forgot these stairs here. Maybe we can get up here. 
Where's it at? It's right here. Ooh, that, okay, so we got Dark Corridor, and we got Well Lit Corridor. Let's check out the Well Lit Corridor first, see if we can find anything. Nope, that's locked. That, I can't even try to open. This one opens, nice. I like. Why do I keep doing that? I need to realize, T for Torch. That creepy clock over there. Not much else, though. Pretty much a very dead room, it looks like. Still thundering outside, that's good. At least we know weather's still a thing in this game. And another closet we can hide in. Which does indicate to me that something spooky should be happening at some point soon. Maybe. We'll see. This is just... God, what are we doing here? It's... I mean, I understand. We're now learning about our past and how we are apparently uh, a family member in this decrepit house. But seriously, just leave. It's not worth it. Your dad's a puppet, and who knows? And, and and all your siblings are ghosts. I feel like I feel like that should be like an indicator. Like don't don't hang out here. Oh, okay. Jesus. Oh, okay, that's the library we we're just we were in. Nice. I didn't. Oh, cool a puzzle. Wow, this is not going to be a thing for me to solve anytime soon. <laughs> all right. So, what about here? Can you open this door? Oh, right, yeah, the whole monocle thing. Aha, we got another leg here. This might be the one I was talking about. So you walk forward, and we go... Oh, here we go, left. No? What does it want me to do? Okay, walk forward. And then to the left. Over here. I feel like I should not have the monocle out right now. Like monocle might be a bad idea. Another room I can hide. Another thing, chest closet I can hide in. But nothing here, so we can sleep. And this game is just like throwing a bunch of places to hide in that, but with a very little substance. Oh wait, you know what it could be? It could be 1990. I just now realized that. So it'd be nine x and then i x. And there's no zeros though. So I guess zeros will be replaced by 10? Maybe? Let's try that. If that doesn't work, I'm just not really gonna pursue it any for Ah, crap, I went all the way around by accident. Oh, now I gotta go all the way around. Back to the 10. Nope. Nope, that wasn't it. All the notes took place in 1990, I figured that made sense. All right, so here's this. And then as I turn, it's actually, that's the weird thing is as I turn, it changes. Let's, come on. Like, yeah, that, that so doesn't make any sense at all. God, how, how, the compass is like stupid. Oh, cool, I can, oh, I know where I am now. Awesome, I can go through here now. Still can't open that door. Cause like, the one place was in a wall, so I would think it would be like the wall again. There's also like no, no weird looking gaps or cracks in the wall or anything like that. Can I open this up maybe? No, it's not a thing. I'm looking for like, you know, maybe a, a loose floorboard with a doll leg in it or something. Just, just nothing. A whole heap in helping to nothing. Nope, that's not something I can do. That door's still locked. Oh my god, the game. You are like the worst at confusing me. Alright, we gotta find at least one of the limbs in this episode. <laughs> and I feel like the one downstairs might be a little better. Let's pop on downstairs. There's a fourth? What is this part? I haven't been here yet. No, I was gonna say. Monocle doesn't do much in the dark. Aside from, it does show me slightly. I can't even try to open that. All right, so here we have the limb. 
And then in here, is there something in here I need to find? Torch. That's, this is definitely missing something. So you're gonna find another one of those little mark things. They kind of look like Fleur, Fleur de Lis's. There's actually a symbol I really like. I think they look cool. I don't know what I'd put it on, but it looked cool. I actually don't know what it means either. I'm sure there's some meaning to it. I mean, every symbol has a meaning to it. Did I check? I checked out this area, but I didn't actually look around too hard. Let's see. Can I open up any of these cabinets? No. Oh my god, this game is killing me. Okay. There's nothing here at the floor to Lissa's. So we're gonna go to the third floor. And maybe maybe we find it there. I feel like so I feel like I haven't missed anything. Alright. So here's the doll. Oh man, this is oh, killing me. Alright. Yeah. We have that unlocked. Well, I didn't mean to pick that up. There's something... No? There's gotta be something around here. Nothing on the sink, no? I mean, we're back in the library. I feel like... That should be some kind of an indicator about we're making we are making progress. Well, not not the not the monocle. I wanted to bring out the flashlight. Sorry, the torch. Ooh, nope. There's so many other notes on the ground that I just can't pick up. In the box, maybe? No. There's random stuffs there, but nothing I can actually interact with. Here, no, no shelves or anything. Nothing there. Yeah, uh, game, you are killing me slowly here. You are like just just stabbing me in the heart right now. So much nothingness to do. Oh man. So we're here. Whoa. Is there anything in here, actually? I, no. I was going to say, maybe something there, but... We can hide in this closet. Doesn't accomplish anything. We can... Is there anything over there? No. It's got to be this hallway here. I mean, we have the leg symbol. What about in here? I mean, I've been here before. Oh! Whoa. Whoa! Oh god, okay, yeah, we're hiding. I don't know what I just picked up, but I've got something. Hello? How do you do? Oh, she's so angry. Put the monocle on? No, I can't put the monocle on while I'm inside here. Alright, well that did show me something at least. Monocle does work. Let's go follow her. What did I get? Oh, I picked up, yeah, a Florida list. Ah, it is one of those. Missing part of the picture. Alright, so now we just need to figure out the order they go in. Which seems kind of weird. Let's see. Let's, where was it at? Oh, it was on the first floor. That's right. But now we can, we have all four and I can just fiddle faddle with them. I'm sure there's a note somewhere that told me what to, to do. I just don't remember it. Pop that on. Uh, what if I, nope, that's not what I want to do. What if I monocle it up? No, nothing here. 
Uh, diary? Yesterday he spent all day. I'm sorry, I'm wondering if one of the diaries mentions that something happened. Like one of the directions he went to in his travels or something like that. Let's see. No. No, there's nothing here. Um, we have that. There's, okay, screw it. We're gonna, just gonna try to brute force this. I'm gonna skip ahead until I finally figure it out. Okay, I don't know how I did that, but I got a leg. Awesome. Uh, all right, I don't know what I just did, but I did something and it worked. It works for me. Hi. Hello, ominous child doll thing. Oh, and you're gone. Oh, okay, well, that's just fantastic. And now creepy music's playing. Oh, that's so good. All right, so we have the doll leg. We got the first one. We want to go upstairs. Okay. We want to go upstairs and try the other one. How is? So yeah, I just basically spent like five minutes fiddling with them, and they suddenly start working. I tried the four directions first, and then I start trying like different northwest stuff. And we got it. I was kind of expecting I have to hit E, but I didn't. That was nice. All right, so here we have this. Oh, whoa, what are you? <gasps> it's unlocked now. Oh, well, they were definitely popping the torch out here. Oh God, it's so narrow. Oh, hello. Child man thing. <laughs> Man, baby. Oh God, where do I go? Is this not the doll parts? Uh, there's plenty of doll parts here. Ooh, what's in here? Nope, never mind. Guess I can't check that out. Um, uh, you were a, not a toddler. You were a a full kid, a full size child of sorts. Is there something there? No. Kind of dead end. Oh, no, okay. Oh. Rude. Monocle time. No, oh, never mind. Not really monocle time. Monocle time doesn't really help that much there. Is it changing? I don't know if the, the layout is changing or not, or if I'm just being cuckoo crazy. No, nope, we're free. We're out. We're out of the maze. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's good. That's good that the candle just ignited itself. That sounds like that sounds like a fire hazard, honestly. And that seems like it's gonna cause issues if it's left un unchecked. Is the house collapsing? Oh, I, I knew it wasn't up to code. I knew it wasn't up to code. Uh, start running. Start running. Let's. Oh, take it. I got th the maze in the doll's jaw. I thought I was stuck in this maze. How could such a big maze locate in the... Oh God, the worst. I thought I was stuck in this maze. How could just such a big maze locate in the house? Who could have hidden these pieces? Whoever it was, this person didn't want it to be found. There's still one piece missing. I thought I was missing one leg. Uh, doll's jaw and doll's leg. All right, so we're looking for the other part, which I assume would be... I saw you! You were banging your head on that wall. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> all right, neat. I'm going to wrap this episode up, but I hope you guys are all enjoying this series. I, I feel like this actually might be a little shorter because of the time I spent with that. So, um, let's see. I definitely wouldn't go in this room. I don't have a code yet. It's not 1900, I learned. Which I thought made sense. Might be something else. Oh, um. Maybe it could be. Oh, there's the other like there's the other symbol. Screw it. We're not gonna bother trying to find the code for that. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna at least run downstairs. We're, I'm sure we'll get the code eventually. It's probably a room we're gonna have to check out at some point. All right, dolls over to the left of here. 
So I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, let me know in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Okay, now I'm kind of glad that that was the end of the episode because my God, you are terrifying. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> anyway, if you guys like the video and see me getting scared at dolls being hung, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And make sure you're subscribed to your updates for this new content or go live while live streaming. And as always, have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I'll talk to you later. Bye.